Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, my name is Akmal Hakim Bawa Mukris and in this video I will be showing you how to use uh, KF sensor and how how everything works in KF sensor. So firstly, you need to open KF sensor. Uh, it has to be opened in administrator mode. So run as administrator administrator right here. So once you have started the program, it will prompt with this screen. Everything should be clean. Nothing should be on the screen. So um, before we start the server, let's check how many ports are open currently on the IP address. Um, so to check the, the open ports before opening KF sensor servers, we will check the open ports by opening command prompt and scanning the open ports with nmap this is the command press enter and these are the ports that are currently opened we have one two three four five six seven eight nine these are all the ports that are opened so once we open the kf sensors uh server the honey pot by pressing the green monitor on the top left as seen by my cursor here so we press start server and as you can see these are all from my previous uh, startups but as you can see on the left side of the screen uh, these are all the ports that are currently opened from 21 to port 25 for SMTP um, port what is it Port 67 for DHCP and many more. So this can be detected by the by nmap. So if we put in the same command, see the amount of ports open uh, increased by a lot. We see port one's open, port 25 is open before it wasn't opened. So this shows that the the honeypot KF sensor is actually working, and multiple quote unquote fake ports has been opened for uh, visitors to come in. So um, to show that KF sensor will pick up, uh, if someone has visited a certain port, uh, I will show you an example. So let's open our Google Chrome and type in 127.0.0.1 and if we press enter this should show this should show wait oh. it should show the port 80 being uh, used being visited by someone So if I keep refreshing this page, uh, KF sensor will keep picking up as you can see. Now to test another port is, is if we put in HTTPS forward slash forward slash, this should go into another port. As you can see, it's picked up by KF sensor right here. Advance, proceed. Before it was using the port 80, but now we're using uh, the 443 port, which is used for the HTTPS port, which is the more, more secure connection. Another feature, uh, another feature of KF sensor is that we can customize our, uh, our page so that if a visitor would come visit uh, it would show our custom page that we want to show them to entice them to attack us or try and get any information from us and to do that is very simple you need to open the the folder of KF sensor so program file go to local disk program files then find key focus KF sensor again, files, and then IIS 10 if you're on Windows 10. 
and then go to ww root. So what you need to do is change uh is drag and drop a folder a HTML file that you want to use as the web page and rename it to IIS start.htm. So for example, I've put in IIS start2. And if I rename it, wait. If I rename this folder to one, and then I rename this folder to IIS start.htm. So now if a visitor would oh, if someone would visit the URL ring, this this one, uh, they would be greeted by this page, which makes it seem like this is a real web page and it would entice people or visitors to come and attack the honeypot. So uh, next I will show you what would happen if we were to do a full scan with Zenmap. Uh, which will show up on the KF sensor monitoring. So we search for ZenMap. Open it up and then we are targeting our own IP. 1.2 and then press intense, make sure it's intense scan. And then if we scan it, it should show uh, up in KF sensor. As you can see, uh, that was quick. The first scan, the multi port scan warning detected by KF sensor. And yep, it will keep on going until scans finished. As you can see, it will also detect any type of DDoS attack. So that's uh, another feature of KF sensor. Uh, as you can see on ZenMap, the scan has finished and KF sensor picked up the, the first scan, the multi port scan. It warned us right here. It is scanned by me. If I were to scan it from another laptop, it would show the other laptops either IP or name. So if, if we double click here, it would say uh, the the specifics of the uh, the event. Multi port scan warning, connections 11, TCP ports connected, UDP ports and whatnot, whatnot. Um, so now to show you that um, the Honeypot is actually running and discoverable by other devices. I will be pinging this Honeypot, my computer, with uh, my other laptop. So I will be pinging this. Uh -huh. And yep, as you can see here, I pinged my computer with my laptop and it showed up in KF sensor. Visitor Malkim Reyes. That was just a simple ping. I will be sending 6500 bytes of packet data from my laptop to the honeypot of my computer. As you can see, it will I will keep pinging my computer. And as long as I don't stop it, it would still say Now, if I stop it, um, if I were to simulate a DOS attack with my laptop, it would also show on the KF sensor monitor, which I will demonstrate uh, right about now. Um, stop that. Oh, there you go. This is a DOS attack. I am using low orbit iron cannon. As you can see, it pinged a lot. It it dosed the the honeypot server, as you can see. And 
as you can see the the comment is is customizable so i can change it to from that which is a default to something like hello this is my laptop so if i were to do this again and boom as you can see hello this is my laptop so now if i were to send the packets again and use the loic at the same time kf sensor should detect it as a dos attack there you go as you can see right here on the second line i activated it both at the same time and since there were too many packets, KF Sensor deemed it was a DOS attack. That is all for my demonstration of KF Sensor. And uh, thank you.